don't rush in and rush out. The Bible said the man leaves his mother and father and cleaves to his wife and they become one. Hello guys, welcome to Pepper City. My name is Nazo. If you're new here, it's always a joy to have you join us. You're welcome. Do well to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get to know when we post new videos. Like, share, and of course, comment, especially. Today's topic is really, really interesting. I would like to know what you think about it. All right, going straight into today's topic. Today's topic is um, why 21st century marriages don't work yes i'm sure you agree with me that um unlike marriages that happened in the 1950s 60s 70s or 80s compared to marriages that are happening today we have a lot of our parents who got married way back that are still together not just that they're together their marriages are actually working because it's one thing to just be there enduring or something and that your marriage is actually working you're doing it right so that their marriages are really working Compared to today, um, 21st century, probably someone who got married in 2010, <laughs> probably divorced by now, right? We know, like, it's no longer, it's not, it's not a secret that it's not working. I, I, guys, it's not, it's not a secret anymore because people have the big weddings, they show the big parties, have the glam wedding, which is beautiful. And if you have the means, of course, by all means, have it. But when we're done with all of that, <laughs> people go to their houses and the reality sets in and they're like okay what did i sign up for okay you press to space, to space from below i press to space from up it cannot work we have irreconcilable differences <laughs> and guess what i'm gonna call a lawyer and they sign the divorce papers and they are out they, they're like as they are they're quickly out as they quickly rushed in all right so i want to talk about why these marriages don't work and like i said i would like to really know what you think so just put in the comment section what you think um are, could be the reasons why marriages today do not work i like to read the scripture um okay let me not read it let me just talk about what he said i think that's in ephesians where he said that um now for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife now first of all one of the reasons why 21st century marriages do not work is because people who get into this marriage relationship do not understand that marriage is actually a covenant. I'm going to take that again. Marriage is a covenant. It is not a partnership relationship. So we partner today. We can't partner tomorrow. So we, I go my way. No, it's a covenant. And if you understand what covenant means, you know, back in the day when blood covenant used to reign, when two people are in love, they were going to cut their... <laughs> How many of us did that? <laughs> they were going to cut their hands, you know, put their blood together and they'll say they are, they are bound by oath. They are bound by blood or whatever. Now, that is, that is even, that is even basic compared to kind of covenant that marriage really is. Just, you know, just go through the Bible. When you go through it, you see stories of covenants here and there. And that gives you an idea that God does not play with covenants. So also, marriage is one of such covenants. And it's not a partnership, like I said. You don't rush in and rush out. The Bible said the man leaves his mother and father and cleaves to his wife. And they become one they become one so there's no let's see if you're say, just like okay i'm a few i'm a human being complete and then you separate my leg or you separate my hand or you go and divide my face i'm incomplete because at the point where they come together and become one a fusion has happened these people are now one it's no longer aki and <laughs> okay i'm coming from a wedding my one of my awesome amazing friend shout out akin and his beautiful wife shala akin just came out of my mouth from nowhere so yeah so akin and shala they're no longer different people henceforth there is akin shala <laughs> or whichever but basically what i'm saying is they're now one so there's no oh tomorrow it's not working and then we break up or we just move our separate ways so first of all is that we need to understand that marriage is a covenant god created marriage to be a covenant and not a partnership the second thing that we don't understand and that is why uh, marriages break really it's because we lack the necessary knowledge to actually make marriage work the bible said by wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established you know the bible didn't say by love it is built or established now it does not rule out the fact that love is important trust me the bible says that love covers a multitude of sin love is what actually helps you know the person's flaws bearable that is where love comes in but then in 
as much as love is a very important factor in this equation it is not the basic factor it is not the underlying factor you need to get knowledge no young man just wakes up and you know writes jam you you get the admission to study medicine and automatically you go to the hospital to become a doctor no you go through the training you go through the process you go through studies you learn i actually think that you know marriage courses should be taught in schools maybe university or something i hope they're doing right anyway <laughs> but yeah because marriage is something that you, there are a lot of things to learn there are a lot of things like there are a whole lot of things to learn see even if i receive you like you receive the person wait does this generation knows what it means to receive somebody <laughs> forgive me i'm kind of old so but yeah i mean you know we receive we don't just jump in <laughs> yeah we receive maybe that's another topic we're going to discuss some other time but yeah i'm saying that even if you are the way you are the will of god as in god has destined it written it engraved it <laughs> I still need to have the basic knowledge that we both need to have that to make it work. If we don't have it, we need to go and learn it. If not, despite the fact that it's God's will, we're still going to have issues. So we need wisdom. We need understanding. All right. Lastly, um, one of the things I also think is the reasons why 21st century uh, marriages do not work is because people are not willing to do marriage the God way. Hey. You know we don't want to go here <laughs> i'm telling you we uh, well, even me i'm still i'm still learning this one we don't want to go here because trust me this is where we die mm, this is where you know that scripture that said um i have died i'm no longer i, I yet i live but no longer i but christ living this is where we die like this is when i yeah this is where we die here <laughs> yeah that, that thing we die here it really that's where it really happens like we really really die here doing marriage god's way a lot of people it's, they don't they we've not we're not there like we never reached there we're still <laughs> we're still we're, we're not there yet but yeah this is like the major reason why marriages do not work because he steps on my toes i can't take you no more but basically we need to learn to do marriage god's way and doing marriage god's way is living our lives sacrificially is basically laying down our lives for our spouse trust me it's not easy me when i talk i'm right here me you no know, say <laughs> <laughs> i know it's not easy like it's not anywhere close to being easy it's a whole lot of work and you need the holy we both we all need the holy spirit to do it and that is actually what has you know the marriages that are working that are working is because they have come to that point where they can lay down themselves so let me just put this out there if you're still the kind of person that says oh that's how i am not everybody can know about it that's how they, that's how i am i just i am naturally angry so you not be throwing anger stouts everywhere i'm sorry yo, you're not ready for marriage i'm so, i'm really really sorry but that's the truth or you're that kind of person that um you say things like uh 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 no i don't take shit from nobody nobody like you don't do that to me i'll change it for you <clears throat> man i'm changing well done <laughs> I'm, I'm great to know <laughs> keep changing it <laughs> But basically, if that is you, you need to, and you're born again. Let me start from there. You're born again. You need to go to God and ask God, Jehovah, Papa, <laughs> the hour has come. <laughs> because trust me, you will need to deal with that before you'll be able to, you know, go into marriage and enjoy it. Like, enjoy it and not endure it. All right, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to bring it to a cut right here. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. I'd like to know what you think. God bless you. See you in my next video. Bye.